Okay, we're gonna go through the steps of distributing a whole unit to the class and then content within that unit. So you'll notice on the left, I have my notebook open with my welcome page, which likely should do some dressing up, the collaboration space, the content library, and then because it goes on, all of my students. So I'm going to go into the teacher area, the content library. You remember we have the course info with the course information sheet. I'm gonna create a new unit and be very original and call it unit one. And in unit one, I'm going to have some content. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send out the question um, on quarter the cross. Quarter the cross is a um, problem we use a lot at Park City Mathematics Institute. Um, and it's been popularized on the internet through Twitter. And so one of my colleagues from University of Adelaide uh, wrote a website about it and you'll notice what I just did I just did a screen capture and then clicked into OneNote and pasted it that's how quick it is to get content into uh, OneNote so I've got my new unit with one page that I'm gonna have the students work on and I'm gonna deliver that to the students so if we go back to the student tab uh, you'll notice that all we have in the student tab right now is our a tab our R tab and our unit zero tab um, that we gave them when we initially set up the uh, notebook. So we're going to add a unit one and we're going to put in the quarter of the cross page into the uh, student notebooks. So let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, we go up to the class notebook tools here. I'm just going to pin my ribbon for make things a bit easier. And the first thing we're going to do is distribute a new section. So we're going to distribute a new section and call it unit one. So it matches what's in my notebook. In my section and so that got distributed to each one of the students it occurs in almost instantaneously it'll be synced to your student notebooks in under a minute so now each of our students has a unit one tab that we can now put content into so let's put some content in let's go back to our content library and quarter the cross we want that page in every student's unit one so I'm just gonna right click the page choose distribute to unit one and takes a couple of seconds and now if I go into a student's notebook again and unit one and there's question one quarter of the cross they can now go in and start working on it that's how you do it I could have selected more than one page and sent more than one page uh, at a time and you might notice that I could have distributed the entire content library that would likely only work for a uh, online course where everything's prepared. Uh, my assumption would be that the teacher would continually modify their content as a class progressed if it were face-to-face. -face. Okay, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.